that's what creating a legacy is about. Why is it important for you to have a legacy? Why is it important for anyone to worry about their legacy? It seems like it causes more problems than good, but yet everyone's focused upon their legacy. I'm Eric with Leadership Developed. As an expert leader, becoming a leadership expert through being a continuous student of leadership, I have worked with many, many people understanding what it takes for them to be able to be the effective leader that they need to be. And this week, we're gonna talk about your legacy. What is a legacy? Why do you care about having a legacy? Why is it important to you? Why is it important to anybody that they're willing to do harmful things to others, do illegal activities, or just plain be selfish? Is it really worth it? According to the Oxford Dictionary, looking this up, it says it's a long lasting impact of particular events, actions, etc., that took place in the past or on a person's life. So are we trying to create a legacy that impacts other people? That's the question we need to ask ourselves. So why are people drawn to having a legacy? What is it, why is a legacy so important to them that they will do pretty much anything, even the nasty stuff, to have a legacy? Well, most of it is because it's a sense of immortality. Another reason would be validity. Failing, finding validation in their life's purpose. Does their life have meaning? I see that a lot as well. Because as I teach, we're trying to influence others into following us by feeding their identity, their purpose, and their growth. So if I'm feeding into your purpose, am I feeding into your legacy? Legacy also can be anything that's an heirloom, a gift. If you ask Bill Gates, his legacy is he wants to help people and create a better planet. But everyone knows Bill Gates because of Microsoft. What about you know Simon Sinek? Simon Sinek wants to be known to be the optimist, but yet we know him for leadership development ideas. You might have an idea of what you want your legacy to be, but doesn't it come the public's opinion of what your legacy is? I mean, it goes back to the joke, you can build a thousand bridges, but... We talked about what is legacy, we talked about why people search for legacy, and then we talked about kind of the contradiction of legacy because it's a debate between what you want your legacy to be and what people determine your legacy is. As we see legacy now being more about what you contribute to the world and how people view or perceive how, what you contribute to the world, that becomes your legacy in a sense. So here's a quick example. I have saved about 312 lives on the combat field and three tours in Iraq. None of them ever knew my name or the name of my team members that were on those flights. But our legacy is because of what our organization, the Purple Foxes, have done. They know they were saved by somebody from the Purple Foxes and that increases when you take the multiple t de um, the multiple deployments, the multiple missions, and the thousands of lives that we saved over that time period. It was more, it was gr our legacy as the Purple Foxes was greater than the legacy of any individual. I want you to imagine yourself the same way. Your legacy is not as great as the legacy to a organization that you contribute to, whether it's a corporation, a nonprofit, a government agency, or just your own philanthropy. The cause will always be a greater legacy than, your own, than just being your own. I mean, let's go back to Bill Gates. He's a philanthropist, but yet we don't remember him for philanthropy as much as we remember him for revolutionizing the computing system. So, is it better to have the organization take on that burden? To have the organization be credited for their legacy? I believe so because it, it lasts longer. It can go beyond your time. It becomes very influential and grabs not just more people, but more generations to help that cause. I mean, think about all these different nonprofit organizations that help with leukemia, most of the, you know, all the cancers, autism, 
they all started like in the late 80s, early 90s, and they have grown substantially, not through just population, but through generations. Generations of people who've been impacted by these things have now found their cause, their purpose, to be contributing to the legacy of these programs, these ideas. So if you're really worried about what your legacy is, find out what, what you align with and a greater purpose and a greater goal. That way it can transcend not just time and space, but people and generations. That's what creating a legacy is about. These legacies are worth noting because the positive influence they've had, the impacts they had on everyone's life. Remember, influence and impact are related like cause and effect. So here's the million dollar question. How do we build your personal legacy? Well, as we said before, your personal legacy needs to align with something greater of an organization's legacy or a cause's legacy. So let's take this. We're going to look at your identity. We're going to look at your focused purpose. And then we're going to look at your growth. Do these three things sound familiar? These are the three things I tell all the leaders that they need to help their people understand what their identity is, what their purpose is, and what is their, how do they grow. If you can do those three basic things, you can get anybody to follow you. So why can't you do it for yourself? You're trying to create your own legacy, whether you're a le leader or just somebody who wants to find meaning in their lives. Start with these three things. How do you identify yourself? What do you, how do you identify yourself as a person? As a homo sapien, human being, somebody who is part of the seven billion contributing to the ripple of the world. Your influence creates a ripple, which ends up being some impact somewhere else. How do you identify with that? Second is, what purpose do you want to find yourself in? Like for me, my purpose is to create a united, you know, more united society. A society that doesn't have the divisions and tribalisms that we see now, but more of what we can do together to be a more loving planet. And I do that through leaders. And that's why I like leadership development because I know that's my, that is my pathway to that end game. Figure out what your end state is and then figure out what is your vehicle that will take you to that destination. That will help you create what your purpose is and then align that with an organization or a cause you feel strongly about. I feel strongly about my purpose about helping you know, create a stronger society through leaders and I'm trying not to do it on my own. So I collaborate with other leadership development experts, whether they're you know, leaders with experiences or academics that's seen it and know how to put it into words to articulate, and articulate to a world that understands it. And finally, growth. I cannot say enough about growth. Growth is, your growth, your personal growth has got to be continuous. Even Bill Gates is still learning and he's, in, he's older than me. And he still has this love for learning. I have this love for learning. I'm 50 years old and I'm learning things that high school kids already know about social media. Um, but you know, it just allows me to find, to explore the world and be in awe of what is in this world and what makes it beautiful. So by creating within this world and showing my perception of this world helps me show the beauty of this world. And that's what I want your growth to be. I want your growth to be able to see the beauty of the world, to see the beauty of the people around you. Because it's gonna go back to what you have your core values about. My core values are adventure, love, and growth. Damn, there's a lot of growth going on. But you know, these are all the things that are important to me. And knowing that allows me to enjoy, enjoy my life much better than I used to. For you, it's as easy as writing down what those things are. And trust me, they're not concrete. They evolve. Those ideas, those, that identity, purpose, and growth will evolve as you are evolving. As you're growing and developing your ideas and developing your purpose, you're gonna find that everything with it grows and has deeper meaning to it. 
this idea of being a leadership development was just a way to keep myself busy. Now I'm finding that it is the vehicle that makes my life happier because I get to see the world differently. I get to see the world more beautifully than how I used to see it. It's funny, when I talk to psychologists, psychotherapists, anybody that's working with other people to understand why people or individuals do things that, the things they do. And when we talk about finding that meaning in our lives, that purpose in our lives, it comes down to, it actually comes down not what we can get out of it, but how, how we can contribute to it. People that provide for their neighbors, that provide for their society, find themselves happier even though they're toiling more than the people who are just receiving, who are not happy because the days that are dry make them sad and then the days that are plentiful are just oh so days. It's those that actually give to somebody, that provide aid to somebody, that's just there for somebody, that find the greatest, the greatest success, the greatest happiness in their lives. I challenge you to do the same. I challenge you to find something small that you can contribute to. Start off with your Rotary Club. Or start off with any of your volunteer clubs. There's always organizations out there that can use some personal help, which is your presence. Most times we think, oh, we just got to give them money and that will help them. No, sometimes just being there to aid in the lifting goes a long ways. How can you do that for somebody in your community? How can you do that for an organization in your community? Don't be afraid to look around. Don't be afraid to ask. There's, and that's probably the question that there is no dumb question to because not everyone knows what's out there. Once we get past our self-absorbedness and start looking into our own neighborhoods, our own communities, and start looking for these things, we see that our world gets bigger and brighter. For me, our local school system has just enlightened me on the greatest developments of what we're doing for our young adults here in, our, in this community of mine. And it's amazing compared to all the places I've lived around the world that this community, this community has taken such a profound interest in developing the best young adults that we can have that will be the best versions of themselves. For you, find the same thing. Make that your starting point. Understand that your legacy has to align with something greater to make to take hold, to mean something. When we take on legacy, let's take on the idea that it is we want to be part of something greater. We know that the organization's legacy is greater than ourselves and that we can live on infinitely with through immortality of our legacy is part of the legacy of that organization. So, since the Marine Corps doesn't know who Eric Lamblum is, but the Marine Corps knows who Landmine is, they know that Landmine, Landmine's legacy contributed a small part to the greater legacy of the Purple Foxes, of all the crews from Vietnam, to all the crews that were overseas in Japan, to all the crews that served in Operation Iraqi Freedom, and now those that are serving the Tilt Rotor Mission in the Middle East. We all, our little bits of contribution, our little legacies, contributed to the greatest legacy of them all, and that is the give a shit of the Purple Foxes. I'm Eric with Leadership Developed. If you like this video, hey, do us a favor. Give us a thumbs up. Tell us you're liking what we're telling you. Also, hey, look at the description below and find out through a free call how we can help you and your organization become more effective to build its legacy. If you like our last video with my fellow Purple Fox Chrome, check it out. It's right over here. And if you missed any of these other great videos yet, check them out. They're right over here as well. We'll talk to you again next video.